Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a battery replacement on an Asus gaming laptop. All right, let's take a look at the model here. If you turn it around, take a look at the back of the computer, you should be able to identify the model is G513QY. Okay, now before you want to continue with the video, I just wanted to point it out to you. If you're not sure where to buy the battery, I'll link it down in the description below where it will direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery for this particular Asus model. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right to, into it. Um, I gotta apologize in the beginning because all the screws were already removed. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver to remove all the screws, but since it's already removed, I'm just gonna, um, you know, you might want to pause the video and come back. But then I just want to point out to you, you need to remove this. It's going to be one, two, three, four screws on the top, five, six, seven screw right in the middle, eight, nine, ten, eleven um, at the very bottom. Okay. And once you've removed all the screws, please take notes. Do not pull the entire back cover off immediately because the um, back cover here they do have this kind of uh, LED light at the bottom right so if you have the light here meaning that there are cables connected to the back cover so do not just yank it out you just need to uh, disconnect the cable before remove entirely all right I'm using a metal prying tool kind of stick in between the back cover here to kind of uh, give a, a little space to work with okay since I have the cover slightly open I then use the plastic prying tool to finish up the rest of it if I use the metal I might put a scratch or dent to the plastic so use a plastic prying tool much better okay at this point I'm going to pop it up open gently just sort of pop it up open all around the corner Alright, once you have done with that process, now I want to disable the cable, you need to flip it, kind of move it slightly away from you, not to lift it up, you do not want to lift it straight up, you just want to move it in a way that you can see that connection right there. So that cable here, and that cable here, alright, the two cables, left and right, they are holding down the, um, the back cover. To remove it, all you have to do is to, let me zoom in a little bit, all you have to do is to flip open the little clipper, there's a plastic clipper that clips onto that cable, flip it up and then slide the cable away, okay, flip it up and slide it away, I'll do the same here on, on the right side, flip the clipper up and then just slide the cable away. Once you have removed the two cables, then the back cover will just remove like such okay since we have the uh, camera zoom right in I just wanted to point it out to you to remove the battery connector you need to push this metal push it away from the, the connector so this thing is actually locked and hold on to the plastic cover the white one push it away it opens once it's open you can just lift it straight up the connector to, to disconnect the battery all right, once you've done with that process, the next step is to remove the screws. Here I have a secondary M.2 SSD drive, which is hiding the screw. So I need to remove that first. For your case, maybe you don't have to, because if you don't have a secondary M.2 drive, therefore you don't have to um, go underneath that screw. Okay. So this one here, put it on the side. So that is one. Two, three, four. So all you have is four screws. Remove the, all the four screws, and the battery will just come straight right up. At this point here, you want to disconnect that battery connector by simply just pulling it out. Once you've disconnected the battery, we're going to transfer that later to the to the new battery. But first, I like to identify the model here. So that is the C41N2. 
2013-1. And this is the replacement. That is a third-party battery. And here comes the model. It says C41N2013-1. Okay, so that is the old battery. Put it on the side. Install the cable by simply just push it back in. Just like such. Put it down. And have all the four screws to go back in it. Alright, once you have all the screws to go back in it, making sure that the silver clipper is open and then go ahead and push down the white connector straight down. Once it's all the way flush to the bottom, then you can push the silver metal back in to lock it in. Do not forget my secondary M.2 drive, slide it in at 45 degree angle, have the tiny little screw, screw it back in. And now it's time to reconnect the two cables, okay? And again, making sure that the, the clipper is open. So the clipper must be open in order for the cable to slide back in. Push it all the way in and then close it down. I do the same on the other side. Clipper is open. Flex cable. Slide it in. Once it's in, push that clipper back down to close it. And then you bring back the uh, um, the back cover. Okay. And then finish up the rest with all the screws. I believe there were 11 of them. Uh, finish up all the screws and you should be done. Alright, so again, I just want to do a recap. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement battery, uh, let's take a look at the uh, description down below where I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement battery. And again, if you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to show appreciation, support my work and my channel, the things I do, uh, please click on YouTube Super Thanks, which allow you to share your gratitude. And thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.